gosh. I think that's too far out. I don't know. Uh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Ah! Oh my gosh. What the freaking, I need to like duct tape my camera down because although it fits very nicely up on my dash nowadays because I have the Jeep Jeep, it doesn't stay. This is my first time trying to film here. Ah! We are not off to a good start today, you guys. <laughs> just, 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 just hold on. Hey. Welcome. Thanks. Here we go. Okay, um, I can't, oh God, I've never actually pulled in my car here. <gasps> We're experiencing this together, guys. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about it. I couldn't really explain this to you in the car because, well, as you saw, it was very hectic. And, well, mm, I had things to do and my camera wasn't staying, so lesson learned. I probably shouldn't vlog in the car until I have some sort of stationary way for uh, my things to not fall everywhere. Anywho, the whole reason I even went out was not to wash my car. It was for... Dwayne Wall, please? Walmart! And what at Walmart, you may ask? Let me, let, me, let me show you, let me show you. Okay, so this right here is called Premier Protein. Okay, so I got cookies and cream. Fun fact, I'm obsessed with cookies and cream anything. So I had to do that one, but then I heard the caramel one is super popular. I'm not just drinking these for protein, I am going to put it in my coffee. Yeah, sounds a little weird, but I've seen it like in a bunch of different places, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm trying to get off of like creamers and stuff like that, and if I can get 30 grams of protein in with my coffee, mm, why wouldn't I, you know? They're 160 calories, five grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, three grams of fat, 30 grams of protein, like I said, so I mean, it'd be a nice little treat, but I don't know if it's gonna be too sweet. Yeah, I don't know. So anyways, I think I'm gonna go with the cookies and cream first, even though I heard the caramel so much better. Ah, I don't know. Okay, uh, this is what I wish you guys could comment down below. All right, I made the executive decision. First things first, and oh, BT dubs, this is iced coffee. Hashtag Starbucks spawns me. I'm just kidding, I don't like Starbucks. And now I need some ice. Shaky, shake, shaky. So now I'm gonna pour my hot coffee. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, okay. I have. I think that was a bad idea because now it's diluting the coffee. Uh oh, I have no idea. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be really bummed if I bought all this freaking protein and it sucks. Here we go. I mean, I think I made a mistake because it tastes like watered down coffee. It's not bad. Shit. I don't know. I need to get to the point of the whole dang video, which is a Q&A, which is why you guys clicked on the video. Uh, like maybe two weeks ago, give or take. I went on Instagram and asked you guys to ask me questions because I said I was going to do a Q&A. Sorry it's taken me a minute. I did that and then Instagram glitched so you guys had to resubmit questions, so thank you. It then glitched again, but I was able to screenshot quite a few questions. And then we went to Florida for a week and then I went to Breckenridge, which is in the mountains in Colorado for a couple of days. And now I'm back. So life's been crazy, sorry about it. But I did not forget about you. I didn't. Look who came to say hi. Hi. This is Dixie. Dixie, okay. Right. Number one, when is the wedding and who's in the wedding party? So this was actually a huge question. When is the wedding? 
We have indeed booked a date. We have indeed booked a venue. Uh, I don't know. When it gets closer, I'm sure we'll tell you guys the date. Maybe. But as of now, we're not giving any dates away. <laughs> I will tell you, the wedding is in 2020, summer of 2020. That's pretty much all I gotta tell you. As far as the wedding party goes, I'm actually gonna make a video asking all of my girls to be in the wedding. There's five of them. How long have you and Jared been together? We have been together since officially dating, December of 2016. Yes, yep. And I couldn't think if it was 2016 or 2017. It was 2016 going into 2017. Uh, so we've been together two and a half. It'll be three years in December. Simba. What is your favorite movie? Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Uh, I can quote almost the entire movie of each and every movie. I can quote the whole thing. This is my hair part of voice. Don't come for me. It's also kind of Australian. I'm embarrassed. Last year for Halloween, I was actually Hermione. I was living out my dream. What is your favorite thing about making YouTube videos? I can tell you my favorite thing, like the best thing and the worst thing about making YouTube videos. So the best thing is seeing the final product. I'm not the best editor, I know that. Like there's so many better editors out there, but I actually get super proud of the videos I do, most of them. Uh, a lot of work goes into them, a lot of time and I don't know, I get really proud of them. So the best thing is seeing the end product and then obviously being able to connect with you guys. Uh, it's just a fun outlet to be able to talk to you guys and show you guys things and communicate and teach you guys stuff. You guys teach me stuff too. So I don't know, it's fun to have this little community. My least favorite thing is it's hard at times creating content and creating content that you guys wanna watch. But that's part of the YouTube world, it's part of the YouTube life. You push through. You persevere, okay? Favorite food. Listen, I don't know if you were asking this because you didn't know, or if you were just being nice so I could talk about it. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese is my favorite food ever. My favorite type of food, Mexican. Oh my gosh, Mexican. It was tacos, but I've like upgraded and moved on up in life, and now I like chili rianos and cheese enchiladas with red sauce, onions, and lettuce. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering so bad right now. Oh my god, Mexican food. Mexican food, mac and cheese, that's where it's at. To go along with that question, someone asked what my favorite drink is. I don't know if you mean alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So, favorite non-alcoholic beverage, Fresca. Fresca is so underrated. I love me some Fresca. As far as alcoholic beverage goes, you know, lately, I am a beer girl. I have really been vibing with the beers. I mean, I don't like super heavy beers at all. They're gross. Like, Jared loves Guinness. I can't get down with that quite yet. Maybe sometime in life I'll like upgrade to it. I love your YouTube vids. I love you. Juicy. Are we planning on having kids? <laughs> well, yes. How many kids and stuff like that, don't know, but after we get married, we are gonna have some cute little babies. How do you kickstart healthy eating slash grocery list? Ooh. Good question, girlfriend. So, easiest way to kickstart your eating is buy whole foods. And when I say that, I just mean don't buy processed stuff. Buy, buy fruits and veggies and meats and just buy the basics. And then uh, you can go on Pinterest and guys, Pinterest is good for you too. You can go on Pinterest and just look up some like easy, healthy recipes and there's a ton on there. like. So many for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, all of it. And it doesn't have to be a huge like 180 overnight. You can, the biggest thing I've learned is like, is baby steps. So let's say you drink four sodas a day. So instead of cutting off all the soda completely, maybe try and drop down to three sodas a day the first week, and then two, and then one, and then maybe one a week, and then maybe you switch to diet once a week, and then maybe you can get off it completely. You get what I'm saying? So start small and work your way up. Ah, this is the number one question that was all over my page. 
all over it. It was written in different forms, it was asked in different ways, but it all was the same. When are Jared and I going to move in together and or why do Jared and I not live together? Let me tell you something. The answer is simple. Uh, no crazy scandalous answer. Um, biggest thing of why we do not live together is we had talked kind of early in the relationship just I had voiced my opinion before he even asked and I said you know I would rather not live with my boyfriend until we were married it's just more exciting that way I had told him that I don't want to live with my boyfriend until we're married the whole reason behind that being is I mean I have a ton of friends actually every single one of my friends who have been married lived with their boyfriend before they got married and nothing is wrong with that to each their own but I personally think it is so much more fun and it's gonna be so much more exciting for Jared and I is once we get married, I get to move in with my husband. It's not like, oh, okay, honey, now we're married. Let's go back to the house we've been living in for a year. No, it's like, okay, honey, we're married. Let me go pack up my freaking house and move in with you and start this whole new adventure with you. So, uh, yeah, it's as simple as that, and Jared totally agreed, and obviously we could live together right now, but we just don't want to. Of course we want to, but it's gonna be so much more fun when we move in after we're married. And uh, so that leads to the other question, when will we move in together? After summer of 2020. <laughs> How old are you? I'm actually 27. I turned 27 July 28th. So, freshly 27, but I'm 27. How are you liking the Jeep life? I love it. Love it. That Jeep is like, ugh, everything I've ever wanted. Have you went dress shopping? I have not gone dress shopping yet, but I have some ideas, right up here in my noggin, of some dresses, styles that I like and that I wanna try on. Um, but I obviously can't show you guys any pictures or give you any hints because I just can't, it's a rule. Do you think you and Jared will be coming to Mississippi in the future? Possibly, we have not talked about Mississippi. Our next trip is probably going to be to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We actually talked about going next month in October to go to Gatlinburg. Jared wants to show me all around and he said it's beautiful in the fall time with all the leaves. So if everything goes according to plan, We'll be going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee sometime in October, but nothing set in stone right now. What kind of coffee do you drink? Oat milk lattes, duh. I just love oat milk lattes, but now I'm drinking protein lattes. Mm. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for the questions this time. I'm gonna call it quits here. Uh, if you guys want me to do another Q&A or do these more frequently, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, it's just been a minute since I did one of these. Maybe, oh, look at, look at that cutie. You're cute! Maybe it will do like a couple's Q&A here soon if I can talk the cutie into it. Babe, let's do a couple's Q&A gonna do it for me today you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time